your colleague letter that Representative Brokana led and it was signed by more than 60 of his Democratic colleagues in the House is extremely significant because it goes well beyond just condemning Israel's act of demolishing Palestinian homes. It goes a step further in actually beginning the process of trying to hold Israel accountable for those actions by calling for an investigation into whether Israel has violated the terms of the Arms Export Control Act. And the investigation into whether that has occurred is potentially the first step to actually imposing sanctions on Israel for its human rights abuses of the Palestinian people. The letter very specifically looks at the massive demolition of homes by Israel in the East Jerusalem neighborhood of Wadi Hamas, which took place last summer, in the summer of 2019. And there were photographs and videos of caterpillar bulldozers being used to demolish these homes. Of course, this is not the first time that caterpillar bulldozers have been used to demolish Palestinian homes. They have frequently done so uh, over the years. It's just the first time that Congress has actually taken an interest in addressing the issue. And the system and process for transferring weapons to Israel is extremely opaque. And the State Department actually does not have good mechanisms for knowing which pieces of equipment go to which units. And so the significance, another added significance of this letter is that it asks some very specific questions of the Secretary of State demanding answers on these types of things to enable Congress to do a better job of oversight over how this military equipment gets used. We're not asking for Israel to be singled out, and we don't think Israel should get special treatment either. There are laws on the book, on the books, that are supposed to protect uh, people around the world from human rights abuses committed with U.S. weapons. I think it shows how significantly the party has moved, especially in the past couple of years. In years past, it would have been inconceivable that people who define themselves as liberal Zionists would get behind a congressional initiative that could result in the imposition of sanctions against Israel. And that's the very import of this letter. This has been a charge that's been led by the Palestine Solidarity Movement for decades and they're responding to and catching up to these demands from those quarters.